Howdy, y'all. I'm Shelton Carter, and welcome to Marble Canyon. My family have owned the Carter Motel here on Route 89 for three generations, making a decent living on holiday makers as they use this road to travel to the south, to the Grand Canyon, and the national parks. It all started with my grandpappy, who is a chef in the city, and he managed to get together enough green to buy this land to build his own restaurant and motel. Ever since, the famous Carter Bar and Grill next to the motel has served up prime cuts of beef and juicy burgers. When my grandpappy died, my pa noticed money starting to dry up, so he took the land behind the motel and built a small amusement park. For years, the rides made us a ton of cash, which my pa saved away. But the rides have aged, and it is now time to invest in redevelopment of this area. I've recently used the majority of our family's funds to buy the land on the far side of the car park. I love the idea of adding to the amusements with the new themed area to bring enough money in to modernize the rides we already have. I have the green. Yeah, I do. I have the green, but I don't. I don't have the smarts. And so now I'm coming to you. I have already made some deals for a selection of rides which we need to choose from. We will then hand over to our developer, who I hope will deliver on our wish of a fun area for young families. You know what they say? Get the money, y'all. This is Marble Canyon. Real place. You can check it out. It's north of the Grand Canyon. Route 89. This is Route 89 here. And on Route 89, we have a little motel. Now, before we go any further, anyone who wasn't here before, who didn't see the Two Week Challenge Season 1, the two week challenge works in a very very simple way it's every two weeks we have a new build okay a new area of the park developed um, there will be eight official builders eight official developers who will be building on this map they all know who they are um, and there are no duplications from last season so it's all eight brand new builders but effectively each builder gets the park and they have two weeks to develop an area sounds simple doesn't it there's a 10k piece limit and there are also always other stipulations involved this is the full set of rules that all of our builders had to adhere to over the next 10 episodes you will see all eight areas of our park completed with showcases of each builders work now let's get back to the stream and talk a little bit more about Carter. There you have it. That's Shelton Carter. Shelton Carter owns this motel. He owns the Carter's Bar and Grill that his grandpappy built because his grandpappy was a chef. And then his father, to try and get a bit of money in, decided to buy some cheap amusement rides. And... Um, it worked for a while, but now they're aging, so we now need to come in and help him. Let's go and have a look at what he's got in, in got there at the moment. So as you can see, we've got a bit of a motel. Uh, quite a few rooms there. Looks quite nice. We'll go up here. Is there rooms on the other side? Look, look at that. Look at that view. The guy wants to make some green. He does. He says he wants to make enough green to modernize the rides in his existing area. So the way he sees it, he says, kids are money, yo. He wants a family area. He wants a kiddie area. What a view. Can I book a room? Yeah, look at that view. Stunning, isn't it? Let's go and have a look along. Oh, a little bit of food, nice. Got a little diner over here. Look at this diner. Look how pretty that is. Lovely. 
So we got a big wheel. It's quite nice. Looking a bit jaded. Needs a lick of paint, doesn't it? Then we got a little twister. Nice little twister. Very nice. And then we got a Dodgems. Nice little pretty Dodgems there. Looks typical old school rides, you know? Cheap to run. We've got a little round the world ride here, a little bit from a little bit more extreme. And then we've got a little woody here. Should we have a ride on it? Oh come on, let's have a ride on it. Let's have a little ride. As you can see, yeah, he, he's he's bought rides and he's made rides, but he hasn't really done any theming. And I think that's what why he's he's reached out to us effectively. He wants someone to build him a kiddie area, a themed kiddie area. So that will be our first area that we're going to be developing. Um, and I'll take you over there in a minute. We can have a little look at that, see what we've got to work with. Nice little woody, this. Does the job, doesn't it? Be fun. So old, indeed. Let's all jump on Winder's old woody. <laughs> it's barely staying up. Hey, that, that ain't going nowhere. That's a fixed direction, that is. Right. Anyway, we're not in this area. We're not we're not actually going to be building here. We're going to be building over the other side. He said on the other on the other side of the parking lot. So on the other side of the parking lot, we've got this big area. This is the area we've got to look at. It's quite a decent sized area. As you can see. We've got to stay away from the edge though, we've been told. Because it's all, um, well, a bit dangerous, isn't it? So we've got, to, we've got to stay within the confines of this fence. They've even put in a service road at the back to help us with some backstaging. So I expect this area here to be used for backstaging. We're going to try and make this as realistic as possible. Alright, so we've got a bit of a backstage area there. And the entrance to the area is over this side. There is no terraining allowed, unfortunately. Because so close to the canyon edge, we don't want to disrupt the natural way the rocks and everything is shaped so if we start digging we don't want it to collapse so unfortunately there's been no terraining allowed We've got some facilities that I would like you to use as well. We've got a Looney Balloons. We've got a Pip Shop Water and a Street Fox Coffee. So that's two drinks stands, two food stands, the free, uh, chips and pizza. There are also the added bonus of vending machines this season. Um, there are vending machines, but these are optional. So if you wish to use them, you can. Um, I'd like an information because all track rides and coasters must have priority queues. That's the deal for every builder. This season I wanted to see backstaging and priority queues on all tracked rides. So that's coasters and track rides. Alright, so we're going to need an information. Uh, and we've got two toilets, a staff room. A first aid and an ATM. So this is what you are using. And you've got a 10k limit. I think it's nearly time, I suppose, to... What happened there? Hold on. Ah! What's going on with my stream?
Now then, uh, you find us a little bit down on my luck, as you can see from the uh, luxurious accommodation that uh, Finderland Corporation has put me up in since doing my last build. Quite frankly, I've had enough and I want to get out of this, uh, quite frankly, pigsty. Now I'm hearing about this new Carter uh, company that is building a new park over in the States. I think I'd quite like to get in on it. So the only thing that can sway me properly into getting over there would be for the, the first developer to make a lovely little kids playground in their little area. If they can do that, I think I can find my way from here over to the sunny states to join in the fun. So it's all on you. Please help me get out of this hole. What the deuce? How did that bloody northern monkey get on my stream? 100% leave him there. Well, indeed. Indeed, it's up to you guys. I'll tell you what, developer, we're going to hear from you in a minute. Um, we'll add that in as a stipulation then. See if you can get old Mr. Reddy Matep out of his luxury, I thought, penthouse apartment. Well, you leave him to rot. <laughs> please save Reddy, please. Right, well, it's down to the developer. So, developer, you've got a 10k limit. I'll tell you I'll tell you all these again before the end, but you've got a 10k piece limit. That's all you can use. You can't terrain. You have to stay within the fences that have been provided. You have to provide backstage areas and you have to provide a little entrance area and name your themed area. It must be family orientated. You've got the rides at your disposal and really wants a kiddie park. Should we find out who the new builder is? Who's this developer? Never heard of him. Well, 20 minutes in the yard each day and that's it. <laughs> right. Are we ready? Are we ready? Should we find out who our new first official developer for the two-week challenge season two is? Here we go. <laughs> 